We're just supporting um, our grandfather um, for Nyampa country. So we've just come down here because he can't make it down here. And then we'll head back to Hay, follow it along the way and do a ceremony there and then off to Barranal and then off to Mungo. Mm -hmm. yeah. And your grandfather is? Roy Kennedy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's what you said in the day. Thank you all for being here too, all you mobs. Especially my Aboriginal people that are standing around here. This has been a, a very, very long journey for them and also a very, very long time in coming. So, um, you know, it's, we're, we're, at, we're nearly at the end of this journey, taking these ancestors home. You know, it's Bark and Deers, Muddy Muddy and I, the peoples have been working together for a very long time. Very, very long time. It's not just like two years ago or three years ago. This is going back to the time when these people were discovered and taken away. So it's been a long road for our people. A lot of our pe old people have passed on now that started this same fight that we, we've had. They've left us this legacy and now we, we're carrying it through today. Um, we've relieved at the moment, but it's sad too because we know we're going through country other people's country, our Aboriginal people who aren't here with us today. And I know they're all excited for us. We've got many, many friends from over the years. I can see faces around here. Um, I've got to know quite a few of them. And we've stayed good friends, especially the, the, the people that are in the scientific arena. And we've worked well with them. We've come together and I think we can still walk together as well. But the main thing is highlighting. These people here, 40,000 year old, mind you, 40,000. You know, how long can a people live on a land and still survive? That's what I like about it. We're still surviving today. And you know, we should be able to go for another 40,000 if we all work together and if you fellas respect our land, you know. This is what we, us Aboriginal people are all about, is connection, country, looking after our rivers, looking after our trees, looking after our land, but also looking after one another. And I think we can do that for the future. We have to do that for the future to survive. So thank you very much for letting me speak here today. Thank you all. Uh, good afternoon all. First I'd like to thank uh, Honey Matilda for that beautiful welcome to the country and Paul, beautiful, and the words of the man from the museum. My, my name's Warren Clark and I've been involved with this for as long as I can remember, trying to get these people on. And it's been an endless struggle, it's been a very emotional one for me and our Barkindji mob. We work closely with the Nyampa mob and the Muddy Muddy mob on this. And we do have our disagreements. But coming together for something like this is very, very important to all of us. And I feel it'll change the way a lot of us work and do business in the Willandra. But also I'd like to thank people like uh, the scientific people. People like Jim Bowler and uh, Alan, the late Alan Thorne, who put so much work into telling us so much about our culture that we knew, that we've been here for a long time. But I thank you all. Uh, it gives me an honour to stand here. But firstly, I'd like to thank Steve Merida and Harvey Johnson for making this all happen. I know we have worked hard, but without these people, I don't think we'd be here today to take our mob home. But thank you. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Joe Slade. I'm an Amper person. And 
I'd like to thank Auntie Matilda and Paul for the welcome. And everybody was here. And um, I'm, all, I'm glad we've taken our remain people home today. And it's so good to see so many people here, to see them say goodbye to them. And I hope we have a good journey home and thanks everybody for looking after us. Thank you. Finally gets yeah, to go home. Yeah. <laughs> Once he hits that red dirt, he's yeah. going to be smiling. Yeah. <laughs>